Hey, it's James with Max Muscle Davis County. Today, we're going to address the tip of the week, which this time is, should I eat after 6 p.m.? For years, experts have been weighing in saying that eating after 6 p.m. leads to weight gain, fat gain, poor health, and a slew of other things. The reality is, is we consume the wrong foods after 6 p.m. usually. So what we recommend is to understand there is a correlation between eating the wrong foods after 6 p.m. or really any time and eating the right foods anytime specifically after 6 p.m. So typically, you know, back in the 50s, 1950s or whatever, we envision a time when families ate dinner, they usually ate after 6 p.m. Uh, when, when dad got home from work and there was a apple pie sitting on the windowsill waiting to be consumed as well. So they would eat dinner and then they'd have this apple pie and everybody was healthy and fit and everything else. So suddenly in the 70s and 80s, people started to gain a bunch of weight and you know it started to show that there was a correlation between eating after 6 p.m. and gaining weight. The reality is it was consuming the wrong foods after 6 p.m. really any time and weight gain. Uh, once it had been shown that eating the right foods after 6 p.m., you know, protein, uh, slow digesting carbohydrates, the right kinds of fats, things like that actually led to weight maintenance, weight loss, muscle gain. Uh, it was, at that point, it, it was where the experts could weigh in and say, you can eat after 6, but only eat these foods. It was found to be easier just to say don't eat after 6, because more people would understand that, unfortunately, than only eat this, this, or this. So Max Muscle Davis County, we suggest eating after 6 p.m. as long as it's protein specific. Um, there are several diets out there that say don't do it, only eat between these hours and these hours, but the general consensus is if you eat protein after 6 p.m., you're gonna be fine. Now, why would I say that? Um, well, there's a couple reasons. One, if you eat at 6 p.m., and you, don't, you go to bed at 10, and then you get up at say 6, 30, 7 o'clock, and you eat again at 8. You've been in a fasting state for 12 to 14 hours. Most of your recovery from exercise or from the stress of the day occurs while you're asleep. So by consuming some protein, say some eggs, uh, maybe a chicken breast, protein supplements obviously, uh, late in the evening, say right around 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock at night, you're providing your body with the necessary amino acids, the building blocks of all structure in your body, to be available so that your body can start that recovery process more effectively. So that's the number one reason we recommend. Number two, we recommend consuming protein because it actually has uh, the ability to create more of a satiated feeling so you're not craving the wrong foods. Most people do find that they're munching on chips, uh, you know, ice cream, they're going out for fast food, uh, any number of different things after 6 p.m. And of course, consuming those foods anytime in, in excess or at the wrong times are going to lead to weight gain and fat, or fat gain. So what we recommend is by eating some protein, your body will actually, you'll, you'll be able to curb those, those, uh, those desires a little bit more and you'll be able to make the better food choices. So uh, what things could, should you eat? How much should you eat? That really depends on your body type. Uh, your activity level, you know, are you working out, are you sedentary, things of that nature, but in general, you know, anywhere from 15 to 30 to 45 grams of protein, depending on, again, your individual needs, is, is recommended. It also creates a possibility for you to sleep better because instead of having a, a gnawing, empty stomach, uh, you actually go to bed feeling that, that, that you're going to be just fine until you get up the next day. So we do recommend consuming some protein. If you want more specifics on how much and things of that nature, please come see one of the experts at Max Muscle Davis County in Bountiful and Layton. Again, there's Rocky, there's me, there's Riley, and uh, now there's a new guy named, named Doug that we're, we're happy to, to welcome to the team. So come meet him as well, and uh, we'll do what we can to make sure that you understand why you're doing something, not that you're just doing something, and that's really our focus. We focus on education to help you stay committed to your goals. Until next week, this is James with Max Muscle Davis County, and have a great day.